Right now, a green country family distraught after their son dies behind bars. Tonight at 10, they say that those at Nowata County Jail should be held responsible for his death. Only on two, reporter Katie Weiser is in Nowata tonight where the grieving family is demanding answers. Katie. The father has been incarcerated since May. The family says on a burglary charge, but claims this week is when Philip Siebert Jr. was set to be released. A Nawada family sits on their porch with papers in hand. I want to know what what happened. Papers that are hard to read. I will get to the bottom of this, I promise you. Especially for this father and grandmother. We went to visit Philip on Friday at 10.20 a.m. And we visited 15 minutes. We were out by 1040. After the family went to visit Philip Siebert Jr. at the Nawada County Jail. If he told me bye, I'll see you in four days, Nanny. His father, Philip Siebert Sr., says he became unconscious. They transported him at 930 Friday night. Siebert was transported to a health center in Nawada, then sent to a Tulsa hospital. The family says by the time they got there, he was in a coma. I was supposed to go for he was. He was a baby. I'm an old lady. The 34 year old died Sunday morning. Medical reports show Siebert tested positive for methamphetamine. I want to know why it's going through the jail. Why are they arresting them on the streets for it? Putting them in jail when they're getting it in jail. A report says he had visitation that day and could have been slipped something. I you know? wouldn't even know what that stuff looked like. As this family sits on their porch. I want to see some justice done right here. Together, they'll push. If I can't trust the sheriff, who can I trust in this town? Four answers. I hope I go to heaven. I'm looking forward to going home to being with him and my husband. Two Works for You reached out to the Nawada County Sheriff's Office, and the sheriff tells us the case is under investigation. Reporting in Nawada, Katie Wisely, Two Works for You.